Hey y'all, it's the Thrifty Southerner back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Hope y'all have all had a great week. I've had a great week. It's been crazy again, but things are starting to finally settle down. I'm sorry I did not get a Thrifty Thursday video out last week, but I got one this week and I'll have one next week. And for the foreseeable future, I should be able to get one out every week. I had to pick a place to film. I'm still playing around with what's best, where's best, where the lighting's best. So this is just where I decided to do it today. I may do it around the camper some to kind of see what's best. Y'all let me know. Um, anyway, if you are interested in any of these items, you can join my Facebook group. I will leave it in the description box below. If you are not a Facebooker, you can email me. I will also leave that in the description box below. When you are emailing me or on my Facebook group, you may ask about an item. Please give me your state for shipping so that I can give you the total price of the item and shipping. All right, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to have you as a subscriber if you're not already. And let's get started. As usual, I'm going to show you the things I bought for myself and my family, which are very few. I think just one thing. This little guy is for my daughter. I've told y'all before, she likes to wear leggings a lot. And so I got her this little t-shirt. It was brand new. It had, I mean, not, I didn't get a great deal on it. It was $5.99 at TJ Maxx compared at nine. Moral fiber. And then I paid $2.35 at the thrift store. So actually I did get a pretty good deal. All right, that is it. That's stuff that I'm keeping. I really thought about keeping these because they are a size 10, but I think I'm going to go ahead and sell them because I have enough flip-flops. I wear a certain flip-flop that I love, and so I'm going to go ahead and pass these along if someone's interested. They are like brand new, and excuse me if you see my dogs in the background. Cross and Johan are in the background, and uh, I didn't want to put them in their kennel, so anyway. Okay, very little wear. Here's the bottom. I guess I should tell you what they are. They are coach sandals. They're actually coach poppy sandals. Super cute. Almost no wear at all. Really nice. I believe I paid, I don't remember, $2 maybe? Same garage sale, I got these beautiful Vince Camuto boots. Second pair of Vince Komodo boots I have found in the last few weeks. There is an issue with one of them though and you, I could have it fixed or just, and this is something you could fix or leave as is. It doesn't have to be fixed. Okay, so these are the boots. They're beautiful. This guy hooks in right here and is supposed to detach from this, but it has come undone. It's only on one and really it's not necessary to like structurally. You could super glue it back on or take it to a cobbler but it's it totally works. Like it looks the other one's not even through the little loops. So they're beautiful. They have almost no wear whatsoever on them. I believe they're size eight and a half. They are. They're size eight and a half. And they're gorgeous. If I did not already have a black pair, I would keep these because, as I've told you, I can get away with wearing a smaller size boot, and these probably would fit me, but I already have a pair of black boots that I love. So I'm going to pass these along if anyone's interested. <coughs> and, of course, my dogs have decided to start barking out the window. So if you see a tail wagging behind me, that's what it is. Yo, huh? Next at that same sale, I got this really super cute coach bag. I did condition the leather. Baby. Don't be ugly. All right, they had to go in their kennel. That's okay, I'll let them back out. So anyway, this really super cute crossbody coach. It's got this awesome chain detail. However, I paid $5 for it, and I did not realize when I bought it that this and this happened to it. I can't imagine what happened. And also, I think a little bit on the side of that, it looks like somebody took a razor blade and like sliced it. So anyway, it's not that noticeable when you're using it. Cut that string and maybe like 
dip some, you know, like, like a marker right there, and you could totally still use it. It's in great condition. Other than that, the interior's in great condition. So if anyone's interested in this, I will sell it to you for what I paid, which is $5 plus shipping. Also, at that same garage sale, got this really pretty fossil tote. It's like a gold. Interior's pretty darn clean. Looks like some a little bit of black, not black, but dark on the bottom there. I did condition it. I didn't notice that when I conditioned it. So, I don't know. I'll try to condition it again and see if I can get that to lighten up. With shiny stuff sometimes in the light, the light has to be hitting it a certain way. And there are a couple of little spots on it. And again, I don't know if they're going to show up. There's one here. And see, I got to move it around to see there. And then I believe there's one, there's a little script like right there. Just a couple of little spots that are very not noticeable because again, it has to be turned a certain way so that the light hits it and you can see it. There's like a little real light one up here. They're all very light and it's a beautiful bag. Okay, I have found this at least one other time. I feel like I've actually had this twice. Anyway, I know I've had it at least one time. It is this adorable B. Mikowski makeup bag and or wristlet. This one's brand new. It's still got the shaper in it. So that's awesome. Super cute. And the last purse and or accessory is this Michael Kors. I also conditioned this. It does have some spots on the bottom and it did not have the long strap. I got this at a thrift store and I think they just didn't know what it was. It was priced for $2. Now the interior is gross, but I will wash this out. I will wash this in soapy water and let it dry. However, I cannot promise you that it I'll try not to get it on here, but that it won't get on the inside and darken the leather. I won't get it on this outside leather. But so, because it's just the bottom part of the purse that's so dirty, so I'll just soap it up from here. But again, it could darken some of that leather. So anyway, if you're interested in it, I will clean it for you. All right, you guys, the last thing I found is this. Porsgrund, Norway. It's Norwegian. It's a little decorative fish. I looked it up online. I think it was $3. Set up online. I can't remember, but these sell for like, I don't know, like 30 maybe? Anyway, this is really weird. So, it, this is a Norwegian poem. And then what it, this is the translation on the back. The sandwiches are not food and love is not hate. That is for the time being what I know about sandwiches and love. But I think it's really beautiful. And if I wasn't in the camper, I'd probably keep it because my husband is of Norwegian descent, but I don't really have anywhere to put it in here. So I'll probably sell it. All right, you guys, that was my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that the lighting is okay. Y'all let me know if there's anything that I should, you think I should change or if you need more light or whatever. As I said, I'll probably be moving around the camper trying to find the right spot for it. And I may even need to get a light that I can stand up. So anyway, until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.